Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a great project planning and task management service called TaskAid. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at taskaid.com. They offer a web version as well as desktop apps and mobile apps that you can use. Now let's jump into my account here and we'll see that I'm signed into my account and by default I have this personal workspace. Now in the free version you have a personal workspace but you have all these sub spaces where you can create all kinds of projects from scratch or use templates. And you can have as many subspaces as you want and subspaces are collaborative so you can invite the people that you want to work with to join you in Taskade. So let's make a new subspace right now. And I'm going to call this one the next big project. And you can see here, I can add a little icon to it. And let's just, you know, use a little emoji if I want to. Let's say I want to use, uh, I don't know, one of these here. That's my next big project. And I'm going to apply custom color to it. Let's use orange and we'll hit new subspace. Now I can invite people to work on this with me. So this is my account right here, Max the dog, and I'm going to invite others to work on this with me. So Mason's going to work on this particular subspace with me. Not my whole workspace, just this part of my workspace, my subspace. You can see there, I can make him an editor or I can make him a viewer. So I'm going to make him a an editor and I'm going to send out that invite. I also have that option, of course, you just copy a link and send that manual to work with. So now you can see here, I have projects, tasks, roadmaps, templates, and completed. Well, let's go in here and look for a template and create a new one. And over here on the left-hand side, we can see all kinds of different templates that we can use. We have a mind map, we have a strategy checklist, we've got prioritization boards, organizational charts, product trees. Project board is the one that I'm going to use right now. So I'm gonna use project board and call this one the next big project. And let's edit that. And of course, you can see up here, I could go in and change out this header if I wanted to, but for now, I'm just going to leave it with the default. And we have these headings here. Now, backlog, I'm not going to do a backlog, I'm going to do brainstorming. I want to brainstorm a list of things for our next project. Okay, so we say brainstorming topics. Then over here, first research steps. And then we'll say presentation planning steps. Now you can customize this with any headers that you would like here. In fact, you could even just do it with two headers if you wanted to, or you could add even more headers in here, but I'm gonna leave it just as is. So brainstorming topics, and we'll talk about, in this case here, rain, acid rain, global warming. And we can say our first steps here, we're going to go to the library, ask the librarian for help, make a list of resources. And you can see here, I can keep adding just by hitting that little plus symbol, make a list of resources, narrow the list of resources. Outline the presentation. Include 
words on slides. And here we can say, add visuals. Now you can see that I've already crossed that one off. So I'm gonna uncheck it. And now it's no longer crossed off. Now, each one of these little things here, you can see I have more things that I can do. Like I can send an at mention to someone to go to the library. I'll make the at mention my collaborator. So that looks to be for Mason, my collaborator, to do that particular task. You can see here, I also have a link to just that one element of this project. And you can see here, we can also do some things like highlight it. We can add a note to the library. We'll say the library is open from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. And you can see we have more that we can do here. We can tag these things. If you like to use hashtags, we can add tags to our project. We can duplicate things. And of course, we can just mark them as complete when we're done. And finally, let's make sure that we add these things to our calendar if we want to sync them up. Now, I'm gonna move my image over here and show you some other collaboration tools that we have. Over here, we can start a call and we can create a video call or we can have just an audio call. You can see right now I have my camera turned off okay? and that's because I'm using my camera over here. So I have my camera turned off right now. I have my microphone turned on and we can join the meeting just like that. And now we can talk to each other. We can type to each other. There we go. And of course, we can go in here and we can screen share to talk about what we see on my screen or on my collaborator screen. I'm gonna end that call and show you that you can quickly switch this up from a default board, that's my default view, to an action, to a mind map, to an organizational chart, to a list, and I can go back to my default board view. So I can change it up for whatever visual style works best for me. And my collaborator can do the same for him or herself. So we can go right back here to my templates and we'll see there's my template, the next big project that I was just working on here in my subspace. So that's a short overview of some of the things that you can do with Cascade to plan your next big project. And as you can see, you can collaborate. So make a template for your students to get them started on their next big project. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.